Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth week. Today, we're going to give a brief synopsis of what is expected during this entire week. Now, the objectives that will be covered in the first lesson are um, discuss criterion B, C, and D, and explain the prompt. So as you can see, we will begin with our uh, second formative assessment, where you will write a uh, the non-fiction non non um, narrative body paragraph based on the criteria that we shall discuss in details here so that you can identify how they're both aligned in terms of your structure and in the criteria itself. For instance, criterion B includes organizing and a strand illustrates that you must organize your ideas effectively uh, and must include five paragraphs in total. So this includes a uh, introduction, first body paragraph, second body paragraph, third body paragraph, and a conclusion. And it illustrates what you should apply and mention within them. Uh, in addition, we're going to explain the prompt. And uh, through explaining the prompt, we shall divide the tasks so that you can clearly understand your, the requirements of the nonfiction narrative and how you're going to continue it based on the introduction that you already wrote prior. In the second lesson, we shall, um, we shall highlight the following, discuss the importance of using the three devices in writing, explain the structure of the body paragraph in relation to the TSR. So in this lesson, uh, I'll remind you of some literary devices that we discussed, for instance, uh, imagery. Why should we use imagery in our a nonfiction a narrative essay, a personal essay? and its impact on the audience. Uh, moreover, the structure of the body paragraph, what should you include in each and every body paragraph, and how can we ensure the consistency, coherence, and cohesion of the text? To add, the third lesson will highlight, uh, explain what guided writing is. So uh, after explaining in details the body paragraph and the structure and the TSR in depth, um, we are going to write one and read a, a uh, we're going to read a, a nonfiction uh, narrative body paragraph, and we will annotate it together, indicating the requirements and what should be mentioned within them. And finally, you will create the body paragraph that, that is consistent with your introduction. So in other words here, based on um, what, we, what, we, what we will discuss, you must reflect your understanding by producing your own body paragraph. Now it is still going to be guided because you'll have the instructions written on the board in details. Um, again, because this is a formative and it only indicates what you understood throughout the lesson. You, will, you won't be formally graded on this. It tells me where you stand and it also will help me and help you identify your areas of strength and weakness so that we can work on the weaknesses and ensure that they become a strength prior to the summative assessment. And finally, the last lesson is going to be evaluating your writing and your peers. So in other words, I will read diverse texts. I will choose them uh, randomly and I shall read them in front of the class without stating the names. Uh, and we shall evaluate the text based on the TSR. This will help you understand where you stand in terms of writing and where you need to improve and what is uh, uh, what is uh, very effective in your writing. Uh, and it will help your classmates too. So it goes both ways. So when we analyze and read one uh, one text that has been already written, then you learn from your mistakes and other students also. And finally, you will reflect on your own writing by, fill, by filling out a table and answering a set of questions. So basically this week will highlight or primary focus on the structure of the body paragraph and how to write it and construct it. All right, so I hope you have a lovely day. I'll be seeing you soon.